and the next is workflow in Kafka. So we have two kinds of workflow in Kafka. One is topic messaging system and the other is queue messaging system. And we will see how it will work. First we will see workflow of the topic. It is also called as publish subscribe messaging. So in this scenario producers send messages to a topic at regular intervals. Kafka broker stores all the messages in the partitions configured for that particular topic. It ensures that messages are equally shared between partitions if the producer sends two messages and there are two partitions then Kafka will store one message in first partition and the second message in the second partition and then consumer subscribe to a specific topic once the consumer subscribes to a topic Kafka will provide the current offset of the topic to the consumer and also save the offset in the zookeeper assembly. Consumer will request the Kafka in regular intervals like 100 milliseconds for new messages. Once Kafka receives the messages from producers, it forwarded these messages to the consumers. Consumer will receive the messages and they process it. Once the messages are processed, consumer will send an acknowledgement to the Kafka broker saying that we got the messages. Once Kafka receives an acknowledgement, it changes their offset value to the new value and updates in the zookeeper also. Since offsets are maintained in the zookeeper, the consumer can read next message correctly even during server outrages. So this process will be repeated until the consumer stops the request. Consumer has the option to rewind or skip to the desired offset of a topic at any time and read all the subsequent messages. This is how it will work in, when it, in case of topic messaging system or publish subscribe system. The other one is queue messaging system. It is also called as point to point system. Now we will see workflow of queue messaging and it is also called as consumer group. In this case, instead of a single consumer, a group of consumers having the same group ID will subscribe to a topic. In previous case, only one consumer is subscribing to that particular topic. But in this case, a group of consumers with the same group ID are subscribing to the topic. In simple terms, consumers subscribing to a topic with the same group ID are considered as a single group and the messages are shared among them. So we will see how it will work. Here, producer sends the message to a topic in a regular interval and Kafka stores all the messages in the partitions configured for that particular topic similar to the earlier scenario. A single consumer subscribes to a specific topic. Assume a topic with some group ID. Then Kafka interact with the consumer in the same way as pu uh, publish subscribe messaging until new consumer subscribe the same topic with the same group ID. Here we will consider the topic as topic 1 and group ID as group 1. Once the new consumer arrives, Kafka switches its operation to share mode and shares the data between the two consumers. This sharing will go on until the number of consumers reach the number of partitions configured for that particular topic. Once the number of consumer exceeds the number of partitions, the new consumer will not receive any further message until any one of the existing consumer 
and subscribes. This scenario arises because each consumer in Kafka will be assigned a minimum of one partition or once all the partitions are assigned to the existing consumers. The new consumer will have to wait. This feature is also called as consumer group. In the same way, Kafka will provide the best of both the systems in very simple and efficient manner.